one of my friend Alex's moves. Um, he does it when he's very, very drunk and doesn't work too well. Little bit risky, can work, can not work. Uh, so it's not the safest option, but sometimes it can be okay. Not bad, but I think I still won. It was bad. What? <laughs> This is something you can try, but it could be a little bit safer if you chose something else. In this case, if you can pull it off, it can work really well, but sometimes it just won't. Moonwalk? Really? If you're just dancing kind of near her, then, you know, she could move away. So you want to escalate a little bit, get a little bit closer. Don't you hate this track? Yeah. I hate it too. Whoa, douchebag. What? You skipped a few steps there. And even if you do kiss a girl quickly, you normally go through all of the steps. Just fast and smooth. I'm thirsty, let's go get a drink. Yeah, sure. Perfect, because you're always waiting for the time on the dance floor to get off of there because you, you know, there's only so much you can do in that noisy, busy place. And the right time to do it is when the music changes and it's a lame track. So you really like dancing, eh? I do. Yeah, very much. But you seem sober. It's strange. Why are you in the club and you still seem sober? <laughs> I can't dance as well if I drink too much. <laughs> All right. Well, we started now, so... Yeah, it's now it's okay. okay. No, I'm not standing. And I think... I saw you... Obviously, I saw you on the dance floor, but I think before, did I see you in the smoking area? Was that you? Yeah, probably. Oh. You don't like smoking. You know, it's a bad habit, really. Um, you, well, you know that, of course, right? Sure, yeah. And isn't it, like, why do you smoke? A personal choice. I mean, it's my body. Yeah, it's your body, but like, everyone knows it's bad. So if you do it, like, were you really stressed or you had some horrible thing happen? Or, like, no, why would... I just like it. Mm. It's okay, my choice. Then. Yeah, of course it's your choice. No, it's just, you know, it's like my, um, I need to tell you that it's, it's bad you in case you didn't to. know and you you know, encourage me. you to quit and all of that stuff. No, that's not your place. Okay. <laughs> what are you, her mother? She knows this already. You don't need to tell her that. Why didn't you come up with something a little bit different? Use it as a chance to tease her, build attraction. I don't know. Almost anything else. But still, it could be worse. It's just not really helping you. And so you smoke, but do you have any other bad habits? Or is that it? I think it's the only real bad one. 
I can be messy sometimes if that's a bad habit. I don't chew my nails or anything. Compulsive gambler or no, I don't know, not thief. Yet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Those, what's the word for the people that have to steal things? Like there's a um, technical. Oh, I don't remember. You know, you know there I is do, one though, but, right? Um, Necro, it's like a, necro that's people that have sex with dead people. <laughs> Check <laughs> necrophiliac, yeah? No. Uh, Not that, and I was I thinking narcolepsy, that. but that's the sleeping <laughs> one. But there's definitely one for the stealing stuff. There is. Um, so, do you have any bad habits? Well, since you asked, I mean, I don't think it's bad, but it could sound a little extreme, but I like to inflict pain on people. Um, I like to, you know, when someone does something bad to me or to someone else, then I like to just persecute them. That's actually you know, um, very but bad scary. people, bad people. No. So it's good in a way. No. So maybe it's a good habit. No, I don't think so. Well, you'll see. I mean, spend more time with me. I've That's got some projects not. I'm doing now with no. some people. And no, 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 I think I need to find my friends. Whoa. Are you sure you want to do that and make an enemy of me? She's in trouble now, isn't she? But really, in reality, man should never use his superior strength or whatever to intimidate a girl. Um, violence has no place and it's really a bitch move. Oh, bad habits. I don't know. No, I think I, I think people like me, and I'm I'm always very law-abiding. Like I, I do drink alcohol, but look, I'm hardly touching this stuff, right? <laughs> so, um, what do I have? Bad habits. I guess I'm sometimes I'm just too nice to people, and then they take advantage. But otherwise, no, not really. I don't believe you. There has to be something. Well, I can think about it, but I don't think so. I really don't. No. I mean, you'll get to know me and see. Okay. That's not genuine, doesn't come across well, comes off as try hard and is not what a cool, strong, masculine man does. Don't do it. So tell me, do you have any good habits or like healthy stuff you do? <laughs> yeah, um, I dance a lot. Yeah. I like to go hiking. Um, I take my dog and we hike in the mountains a lot. Oh yeah? Um, it's great. Mm. And let me see, yoga? Do you have a dream of like climbing Everest or Kilimanjaro or something no, like this? No, it's too cold. <laughs> It's too cold, I like to be warm. But I have some friends that climb Kilimanjaro and they're just regular people. Like they started in no. the morning and they got to the top by sunset or they had help. nightfall. Yeah, of course, they're glad to carry in everything, but I don't it think seems I would like do it. it's kind of easy. No, you no? would do it. Uh, I like to think I would. So, <laughs> but if you put me there, I don't know. <laughs> so you hike, what else do you do? Um, lots of sports. I like, I tried climbing recently. Sometimes I play squash, used to play tennis, but I guess now I just go to the gym a few times a week and that's about it. You go to the gym? Really? Well, not to put too fine a point on it, but I don't know, you don't look like you really do too much. <laughs> In the gym. Really? But that's okay, that's okay. You must have liked something about me. Of course. No, you look fantastic. But just, you know, <laughs> some people have that kind of gym look and others the more like, like sitting, you. sitting kind of yeah, chilling like look. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we get on, we're, we're perfect for each other. <laughs> Perhaps. Could be worse, but in these cases, you don't want to react too strongly. You don't want to get emotional. You don't want to get angry. You don't want to turn it back on her. You know, you want to roll with it in a cool way. So she's like, wow, this guy's confident. I'm trying to guess. I mean, when I look at you, I think you're kind of, I don't know, something to do with music. I don't know why I think <laughs> that, but what did you study at university? Um, I actually studied dance. Dance? You, stu did. you studied? I did. Dance. Yeah. I didn't know they had that. <laughs> I know they have like ballet schools and stuff, but you it's can study. Uh, there's music at the university too. It's an uh, art school. Um, but oh. yes, dance, uh, ballet, um, jazz, hip hop. <laughs> yeah, cool. Just a lot of things. Oh, shut, shut. Yes, yeah? exactly, exactly like that. Like we were here. Nice mm -hmm. one. And um, so that was university, but what's your job now? Are you something? I a actually dancer own or a something? dance studio.
Wait a minute, so you were you were studying dance and now you've got a dance school and you know everything to do with dance. So let me guess, is it like a stripper school, like teaching strippers? You know, like poles and Are you joking? how to do that lap dance and all that You're stuff. You're serious? Yeah, because big business, because strippers make a lot of money, they can pay. Do you think that's flattering? No, but it's like a business, right? It, How would it you is, make more money? I'm Come on, who'd you teach if not strippers? No. That's, who? That's who'd just, you teach? That's rude. That's not, that's not nice. No, I, it's nothing. What, you don't like strippers? I teach children. No. My no. auntie was a stripper. That's, that's rude that you don't like strippers. I don't think I want to keep talking to you. Well, I think maybe you do. No, I actually really don't. I think, I think it's do. better that you fuck off. Fuck off? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to continue talking to you. You're like the rudest girl I've ever met. You're definitely a stripper. <laughs> and I, want, yeah. I will go very happily. That was uncalled for, man. Very rude. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, dance school, that's cool. So what, what types of dance do you have? You have like salsa, tango? No, it's for little kids. So uh, like ballet, beginners ballet? ballet and jazz. And how long are the classes normally? They're about an hour every week. Yeah, okay, and you teach them yourself? Or it's I your do. school, right? No, yeah, I teach them myself. And other people teach sometimes? or is... No, 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 no. We have, um, I have an assistant who's just kind of there to help because there's so okay. many kids. How long have you had your school? About two years. That's good, and it's going well, yeah? Yeah, it's going very well. We do recitals, it's fun. How many people in a class normally, children? About 10. That's not bad, so quite yeah. busy. It is, it is busy. A um, couple classes a week, two or three classes a week. Ah, uh, you could have been so much more interesting here. It's a very rich subject to talk about. There is a lot of passion and emotion attached to it, but you asked a couple of boring questions and it can easily die out now. I just noticed you got some tattoos. Oh, my eye. Yep. So what's written there? I like to get fucked by a bunch of guys in all no. of my No. No. Not okay. No, no, that's not even funny. I don't know if you're trying to be funny, but it's not. You, what's wrong? You don't like having sex with loads of men, or what? <laughs> What about just me? Do you um, want to tattoo my name? I tell you what, me. after we after we do the thing we're gonna do, you're gonna tattoo my name. No, and you need to go on your you I need don't know, to go somewhere now. very visible. Seriously? Seriously. Fuck you. What? Go. go. No, come on, you got tattoos, you know what that means. It means you're that means nothing. Kind of easy, that or? means nothing. No, no, fuck you. Go. Alright, keep it down. Alright, um catch you later. Maybe have some drinks and I'll, I'll catch you later when you're chilled out. That was uncalled for, man. Very rude. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, I mean, on you it's kind of nice. I, I don't have any tattoos, but... That's okay. It's not really my thing, but... I mean, some You don't people, like tattoos? Not that much, not usually. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I definitely don't like it when it's like too many and prison oh. tattoos or whatever, but... I don't like long hair, so I guess we're even. Well, kind of, except I could just go and cut my hair in five minutes and <laughs> laser in all the tattoos, not, not exactly the same. Ah, if you can cut it in five minutes, you probably should. If she asks you, maybe it's okay, but to bring up the subject, to look at them and then say that, kind of pointless, just leaves a bad feeling and doesn't score you any points. So I think that's probably enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do? Uh, it's kind of kind of strange, right? So I'm not I'm not like an accountant or whatever. So um, it's I make videos for YouTube, so okay. I could sound like a YouTube professional. <laughs> what sort of videos? What do you mean? Different videos, like in different subjects, giving advice about health and different okay. things, and then uh, it kind of makes money by the advertising and you know when there's those annoying ads in YouTube. Yes. So basically, that's, <laughs> that's how you make the money. That's what's paying me, like one cent each one or whatever, okay. and it adds up. Interesting. So. Well, I did notice that you were very well groomed. Oh, thank um, you. I was hoping it didn't mean that you were into men.
Well, so what if I were? Like, are you homophobic or what? No, I just... Come on. Sitting here, I would just hope that you liked women. Well, so That's if there were two guys there kissing, you'd puke or what? No, absolutely not. But I just, you know, mm. want you to be into me. Ah. Well, that's all right. So you're not homophobic. That's cool. No. So my no. gay friends are safe. You're not going to yes. attack them or anything. They're safe. Nice one. Well, no. To clarify, I'm I'm not I'm not gay. I'm straight. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. Right. She challenged you. You got a little bit reactive, a little bit angry. Not the best course of action. However, it ended okay in the end. So it's not the worst thing that you can do. But still, try next time to stay cool and roll with these challenges in a better way. Um, you know when you date guys or meet guys, I assume you do sometimes, yeah? But <laughs> sometimes. is it usually in clubs? Because for me, it's definitely mm, not. Um, no, I, I try not to. Um, it's not the best, right? No, it doesn't always seem like the most honest environment to meet someone. Yeah. Well, most people going to clubs, they're just looking for something that's not serious, right? That's the right. general thing. <laughs> yeah, or to have fun with their friends yeah. only. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I try not to. But you know what? The good thing we've met, right? Not long ago, but we're not too drunk. We've managed to find this quiet place for a conversation. Sure. So it's maybe, uh, we shouldn't categorize it as the usual awful club thing, right? Yep, yeah, that's safe. Mm -hmm. To be honest, you know, when I saw you on the dance floor, like one of the first things I noticed was you just got like the most sexy ass and I just... Whoa, was, excuse me? What, what you think uh, that's funny? What you, you think that's doing? funny to grab a girl's Not ass? funny, I was just no, compliment. I will break off this arm and then tell me how you'll grab my ass. Let me go, what the fuck is wrong with you fucking crazy bitch? And you're fucking rude. Psycho. <sighs> Asshole. I've actually seen guys get beaten up before touching girls' asses and, you know, it happens, so you don't need to do it. Don't need to do it in a bar. Wait till you've got her in your house and she's ready for it and she's saying, please touch my ass, then do it. So if it's not too personal, tell me where did you meet your ex? Uh, the, uh, the university. Um, dance, we were our partners, so it's just kind of natural, I guess. Okay. I'm finding it really hard to concentrate actually in talking to you because you're just really sexy and I'd just <laughs> like to give you a kiss. Oh, thank you. But um, you're welcome. we should talk a little more first. Yeah. Okay. But I'm having fun though. You are really sexy. <laughs> thank you. It's not a bad thing. No. <laughs> Verbalizing that stuff sounds okay in theory, but in practice, it puts too much pressure on the girl to decide in that moment. And if she did agree in that moment uh, to your advances, mm, you know, it's a rare situation where that happens because it makes her look like a kind of slut. So best not to verbalize things like that. Best to just smoothly do it physically, non-verbally. So I actually didn't ask, but what did you study in school? Well, to be honest, I didn't go to university, but it's just because um, I didn't really like school when I was young. I was intelligent, but I was kind of bullied and kids called me ugly and stuff. Really? Yeah, I have no pictures from that time. I hated how I looked and everyone called me ugly, so it was, it was just unhappy. But it's okay, I'm alright now. But You're very handsome now. Obviously, like that's, that's like saying the floor is down and the ceiling's up, you know, <laughs> but, mm. but thanks I guess. Yeah. After you get a compliment, it's the wrong time to be cocky, so not the worst response here, but definitely not the best. Yeah, let's have a drink. Cheers by the way. <laughs> Cheers, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I know we haven't been talking for long, but to me it's, um, it's going pretty well so far, so I'm yeah. happy I came and talked to you. Me too. <laughs> I 
let me ask you something. Are you adventurous, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, you like yeah. trying things and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Well, I think I am as well. And I just saw that over there, there's an electrical closet. And I had a little look and it's actually open. Like okay. everyone forgot to lock it or whatever. So would you say we go over there and, you know, get it on? What? I'd say, you just like go make love in the electrical closet. It's going to be, I mean, how many times have you done that in your life? <laughs> Something new, right? You're joking. No, I think it'd be brilliant. Adventure. No. Yeah, come on, it'd be no, exciting, it's babe. We're getting on so well. No, and this has been really nice, meeting. but that's just, no, it's inappropriate. Let's go give it a go, come on, what's wrong? I don't want to. But I've been talking to you for how long by now? And really? You, you wouldn't go? Come on. You think that means I need to sleep with you in the electrical closet because you've No, you need to, you should want to. No. Like not be honoured, but somewhere closer you to that. You are not nearly that charming. Well, maybe you're just boring. You ever thought of that? Maybe boring. you're a douchebag. What do you do, like missionary position and not move like a sack of potatoes? We all love adventurous girls and we all love utility closets, but still, for the first time, most girls would prefer to be in a bed in a house. Like, what do you say we just get out of here and go back, um, you know, go back to my house? Nothing like too, too crazy, but just it's more comfortable there to hang out. No, no, I think it might be too early to go to your house. Um, okay. Maybe we could go somewhere else? Yeah, cool. Or well, we can stay here for a little bit and, and see what happens. Okay, I would like that. No, 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 no. Too soon. I know there's this phrase about striking while the iron is hot, but in this case, it's better to let the tension kind of sit for a while and do it in a very smooth way. Not kind of like, oh, she's kissing me. She's letting me do stuff. I need to take her home right now. Seems a little bit eager, a little bit predatory, a little bit aggressive. You know what, I'm actually really hungry, so what do you say we go out of here and go eat something? I've got some wine. Maybe not come with you tonight, but um, give you my number, see you again. Okay, cool. I'll probably get going <laughs> soon anyway, but give you my phone, um, put your number in there, and I don't know, meet in a few days or something, yeah? Yeah, that would be nice. Instead of saying, let's go back to my place, which usually gets a no, um, you want to make it a little bit more, you know, undercurrent, but not specific. So that's the way to do it. Little bit risky, can work.